Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. So this has been a popular question, and we're going to get to it. How do you get the big brain or the big head effect in KDN Live? Stay with me, and I will show you. So, Kaden Live, I've talked a lot about this tool. It is free, it is open source, and it is very powerful. And there is a burning question out there <laughs> about how to do the big head or big brain effect. It's not natively built in. There are no like bubble or built in effects to do that as of this moment. So I'm gonna show you what, how I figured out a way to do it. Um, first of all, this is Kaden Live version 22.08.0, and I am on Linux. I'm on Ubuntu, just for reference, if that helps you. This is the latest and greatest, at least as of this moment, uh, just to understand where we are. So, looking in then on what I've got, I've got a sample clip down here. So, I look pretty normal as most days go uh, in this shot here, but what I was able to figure out is to turn that into this. <laughs> And I can show you how this kind of plays through a little bit. Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Let's look at how we did that. <laughs> so I've talked a bit before in the past about how effects work in Caden Live and how the stack of them is important, the order of them is important, and it adds kind of compounded uh, effects depending on how you stack them in. So there's no one effect to get this done, I'll say that. So I'm going to jump through these one at a time and I can show you how we arrived at what we have here. So I'm going to start by going to the bottom here. I'm going to just turn these off and roll it back, and then I'll explain why they are all individually important. All right. So the first thing I did is, um, well, the first option here is position and zoom. All right. What this is going to do is I need to take uh, a layer. I took a copy of this video over here, first of all, because we're going to put, make an adjustment on top of what I already have. And I'll explain why that's important later, but we need a copy of the clip. And then I needed to move it into the center uh, to, to add other effects. All right. So the position zoom is really only doing that right now is that it's repositioning the entire clip. Okay. So my head is in the center. Next thing, let's hop on down, turn this on is the D fish um, effect and what d fish does you can see how that kind of adds this this funky almost like zoom blur effect in order to get this kind of look gosh <laughs> uh, um to get this kind of effect is you have to change some of the settings all right first of all the type needs to be aquari aquaria rhea if i'm saying that right but that's the one you want the scaling has to be to center. These are going to be different from the default options that you will get. All right. And then the aspect type needs to be HDB. I believe those are the three settings you have to change in order for this to work. I don't think I had to change the interpolator there. Also, you want to play with the amount. I had to push that up quite a bit um, just so it kind of gets you into uh, <laughs> that, that position. I can show you as I scale that back, you can see what actually happens to it. Um, this tool, this filter is meant to take a, a aberrated shot, something that has kind of a fisheye lens and then correct that. And what we are doing is the opposite thing. We're actually taking it and intensifying it to the extreme so that we can get this kind of big head effect, but not too much because the rest of the, uh, the rest of the shot just kind of starts working with that too. All right, so I'm going to push this back to the point where we had it, because that was the point where I felt like I was comfortable with it. But there's a little bit of distortion around me, too. We're going to address that. Okay, so pay attention to the amount and the different settings here for DFish. Next one down. All right. So what the rotoscoping is doing is we are creating a mask. Okay, and there actually are two different kinds of rotoscoping effects. I'm just going to go into things here. I think it was just the ordinary rotoscoping. There's the rotoscoping and then there's the rotoscoping mask. I'm just using the rotoscoping. This allows you to put points uh, 
around an object and I've explained how to use this before, but essentially when you start it, you'll see a thing right on the screen that flashes and says, click to add points. So you have to click with the left mouse button to set your most of your points. And the very last one that closes the shape has to be a right click. And then you have an object mask to use and you can move those points on keyframes if you really wanted to. Um, I did not because this is just for demonstration purposes, but if I really wanted to stay tight on my head, I could adjust those as an additional keyframes. Okay, I only have just the one for now. Next one down the stack, all right, because we're starting to see how this is going now, is we're doing a transform, all right? Now, I had to use a different movement effect because in the stack of things, I had to set an effect to control where in the mask the position was. And I also had to set a different effect in the stack to position it on top of my head behind itself. <laughs> That's why there are two. All right. So you see how that jumps into position. If I were to go back to the original position and zoom, it would only move it within the range of that mask. It would actually, the mask would stay, but my head would move in and out of it. So this is moving that whole stack of effects as another move effect, uh, another position effect to where I want it. And then that really gives us the uh, the effect that I'm looking for. This is how you can do this in Kden Live. Um, it achieves that effect. <laughs> and I'm sorry, this is just ah. <laughs> okay. Um, you can be the judge of whether or not I look better or not. <laughs> but this is how you can get this kind of fantastical effect uh, using Kden Live and using the power of multi-effecting how you can achieve things that are not necessarily baked in. Now, I did another video about how you can make this a reusable thing, and I'll put a, a link and a card to that. Um, if you're curious to go figure that out, um, that has to do with saving the effect stack up here, and you can actually bring this stack of effects in later if you wanted to use it in other ways. So if you want to save this for later after you've achieved it, do that and check out the video on how you can and step that all the way through. So, all right. So that really was the concept about how you can get the, the big brain or the big head effect in Kden Live without having the pre-baked effect with the stack of effects. You can achieve it. And I hope that's helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Even if it was just fun, give me a thumbs up because I, I had fun. I hope you did too. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't done that already and ask a question. Uh, join the community of learners so we can share our experiences and become stronger together. Also, if you're interested in supporting this channel, I do have links to Patreon for some added kind of uh, other perks, uh, thank you notes and such uh, that can work with that. Also, I do have content creator books if you're into content creation where I'm sharing some of the learning experiences I've had, which I hope would be helpful to you. No pressure either way, but it does help keep the channel going and I appreciate that. And I also just appreciate you being here, staying with me and watching this video because that means the world to me that you are supporting me that way. So thank you so much again, and I will see you at the next video.